Foundation does research work on large pelagic species, that's billfishes, tunas and sharks. We're extending our survey areas now to Panama in cooperation with Tropic Star Lodge and NGOs in Panama. We're going to start a five-year study out here based on sharks and billfishes mostly. We're setting up a PhD student with an assistant full-time here at the lodge. It's a breakthrough arrangement that we've made with Tropic Star with the new ownership and we're looking forward very much to coming down here more often and learning more about all these different species. We're adding rooster fish to the mix because the rooster fish has become a target species in the inshore fishery from Mexico to Peru. Right here in Panama they have a, a very good population and in Costa Rica and we're combining with a lot of other people now from Mexico, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama to study more about the rooster fish. It's going to be great for science, going to be great for conservation. The ultimate goal is to learn more about the species so that we can educate ourselves about resource issues and then affect conservation so that we don't overfish. We fish only sustainably. Hey, I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation and I'm here with Brian Logan from the Guy Harvey Research Institute at Nova Southeastern University. We're here at Tropic Star Lodge to try and tag big rooster fish today. We've got a lot of live bait ready to go and we want a big one because very little is under is known about the rooster fish and we're trying to put some tags in it so that we can get some more information about this beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, is there anything you want to say about today? Yeah, no, very excited. Just trying to learn a little bit more about this species so we can better understand and better protect them for, for this future. It's a beautiful day beautiful here. Day. We're so excited. We're going to catch a big one. Wish us luck. Woo! number and information and so we hope to recapture these guys later and find out more about their growth where they've been found and fill in the gaps of knowledge for this incredible species so we've got our logging information ready we've got our tagging in our tag applicator we're going to measure the animal and we're all being released and we've already looked like we're very exciting. <laughs> really hoping this is a rooster fish. We can get a tag in it, let it go, see where it goes, see what it does. Okay, we're going to tag this one with a satellite tag because it's a big one. They can handle this kind of animal and we're going to get six months of good information on this animal. temperature, depth, give us a much better understanding of what that fish does, when it does it, and why it does it. So trying to learn a lot of things here with the conventional spaghetti tags that, that Jess is out here putting in, and then with the scientific, the, the satellite tags, trying to learn in much more details. trying to do we're trying to catch as big as rooster fish as we can to put in a satellite tag and what that satellite tag will tell us is where the fish goes and when it goes where we can correlate water temperature and depth and lunar phase and all these things together to try and get a much better understanding of what these fish are doing out here why they're here and where they might go if they leave at some point We have a great captain, great mates on board. We all 
also need the right gear. So we have a combination of live, using live bait on 30 pound test line, and then we have a copper, which we use on an 80 pound test spinning rod. And so those two will hopefully give us some big fish on the end of the line. We've already, we've unfortunately lost two today because they bit it in the wrong place, but it means that they're still out here. We use live bait, we use Benito, and blue runners. Those seem to be the best because of their size and it's a common fish they prey on. So hopefully we'll get another one out. We've got another live bait out. We've been practicing on the poppers, getting our cast out. So hopefully we'll get another one. which was the ultimate success, success of the day. Not only that, but we got to see a uh, sailfish jump and chase after the long jaws or the hound fish. Uh, we had him on for a very short period of time and it jumped up in the air fleetingly. And we had pelicans gliding over the water all around us. We got a bluefin trevally, uh, a green bar snapper and just an epic day. We are so glad to be here and the rooster fish expedition so far is going perfectly. So this is the satellite tag that we've been putting out on the big, big roosters. You see it's a little bit bigger than the normal spaghetti tag. So that's why we need the big, big ones to be able to put this on. So what this does when it's on the fish, collects water temperature, depth, and light intensity. So we can get an, an estimate of where it is, but not only where, why it's going to those places and what depths and what temperatures it's experiencing. After six months, this will pop off the fish, float to the surface, and it'll transmit its data to a satellite. And so when it transmits its data to a satellite, we know where it is, and hopefully we'll be able to come back and and find it, pick it up, and then download all the really, really fine scale data. their swimming ability nor their hunting ability and 
we'll take this back with us and look forward to getting the results soon.